Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making takeout crock pot chicken and broccoli. Okay, let's get into the ingredients. You're going to need one to one and a half pounds of organic boneless skinless chicken breast or chicken thigh, four cups of fresh or frozen organic broccoli, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons of organic cornstarch. You're going to need a half a cup of amino acid or a low sodium soy sauce, one cup of organic chicken broth, half a cup of organic diced onion, yellow or white, a third of a cup of organic brown sugar. And if you don't have brown sugar in your pantry, I will link below a video to show you how to make it. For your spices and seasonings, you're going to need one teaspoon of the following. Black pepper, ginger, garlic, and onion powder. Okay, in your crock pot, you're gonna start off with adding your chicken broth, your amino acid or soy sauce. Next, add your brown sugar. And at this point, you want to stir the sugar until it's mostly di dissolved. So let's get that dissolved. Okay, next we're going to sprinkle in our cornstarch. I just want to stir that, get everything, so that they are no, that we have no lumps. So it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now that we've stirred everything together, got everything pretty smooth, I'm just going to add in our onion. We're going to add in our sesame oil. Again, give it another stir. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take all of our spices and seasonings and add it to our chicken that's in a bowl and mix it around to get everything evenly coated with the seasoning. And then once you get it coated with the seasoning, we will be adding it to the crock pot. Now that our chicken is evenly coated with the seasoning, we're just gonna add it to the crock pot. Give it a stir to spread everything out. Now we're going to turn our crock pot on. We're going to put it on high for two hours and 30 minutes. And when you get to 30 minutes remaining, that's when you want to add your broccoli so that it will be nice and crispy, not mushy. Okay, so now we have 30 minutes remaining on the time on our crock pot. We're going to add in our broccoli at this point. Mix it all around. Place the top back on your crock pot and let it cook away. Okay, now that everything is done, let's plate it up over some rice. And here is your finished result. 